Hello and welcome to this inspirational video that comes to you from Land's End, the end of the world. Yes, it's Tuesday the 14th of May, the day before the first literature exam, and no expense has been spared. In fact, I've paid £6 to bring you this video, this message that's going to help you enter this exam feeling super confident and ready for anything. Sadly, rumours that KSI also appears in this inspirational video are not true. And here I am giving you three bits of advice. I've had to mute myself because the wind was so loud. But three crucial bits of advice. Number one, whatever the question, write about the author's purpose. When you start writing about the themes and the author's ideas, you automatically get grade six or above. The examiner just won't be able to help themselves. That grade is yours. To write about the author's purpose, you need to plan. Now, planning is super easy. Spend two to three minutes writing down everything you can think of to do with the question. Don't read the extract. The extract is for later. Plan what you want to say first, and then, after two minutes, go back to the extract and find quotations from that that already fit the argument that you've planned out. Your next step is to now count how many points you've got and number them in the order you want to make them in order to make the strongest argument. And the third bit of advice is that you need to write about the structure of the novel or the play and the easiest way to do that is to comment on why the extract appears where it does and then finally always deal with the end of the text and how that influences our understanding of the author's purpose. This will mean you come out of the exam confident and not feeling like you need medical assistance. You won't feel tiny and insignificant. Instead, the exam will feel tiny and insignificant. You will have smashed it because it's not that hard. Just keep writing, keep going, and you will succeed. The exam isn't an anchor weighing you down. It's actually a fantastic opportunity for you to show what you can do. Enjoy it. Be playful because you've done the revision. Don't drive yourself off a cliff edge. And when you get yourself your results in August, you'll just be able to enjoy the view. And of course, whatever happens, it won't be the end of the world. We've still got paper two, which you'll be able to smash. If you can't, watch my videos and find out how. So I hope you're supercharged with energy and you won't feel like this at the end of the exam. Thank you. See you soon on my channel.